विनोद सर हेलो विनोद जी हेलो विनोद जी start the session gorav please uh, please take on line uh, uh, note sir yes sir okay i start i sanjay pandit assistant professor of sri sai bal college of management and information technology badani patanpur welcomes all in one in this in this webinar presented on the topic of Drone, grow your own safe food in kitchen garden. This is presented by Dr. Sukhdeep Singh, who is the respected assistant director of horticulture for CRP. A brief introduction is given by Vinod sir uh, about uh, Sukhdeep sir. I just introduced my myself and my college. My college is uh, established in 2001. and that is started uh, with mca after that uh, different courses bba bca bscit mscit and later on we add agriculture with with the coal so we are in our third year in the agriculture department we have only one course that is bsc agriculture that is a four year course and uh, our group is established by engineer sk konja or chairman sir madam tripta punjit md madam managing director and our cmd sir that are chief director uh, chief managing director who is controlling all that so i just uh, hand over to the to this uh, to our vinod sir is vinod sir is present hello gurav ji Okay. Yes, I, I am going to hand over uh, hand over the session to Sukhdeep Sir Kundar. Please, Sir. interesting topic everybody have to adopt this uh, techniques so that he can be self sustainable in producing his uh, chemical free food so let's uh, uh, know the importance and benefits of this uh, kitchen gardening 
this today we are discussing uh, when we are talking about our food safe food then vegetable and herbs are most important part of this diet diet plan so uh, the national institute of uh, nutrition hyderabad have recommended 300 grams of vegetables per person per day in our uh, daily diet so it is not for whole family it is per person per uh, per day so you can calculate uh, uh, requirement of your family with this simple calculation that 300 into number of uh, members number of members of your family so if we are today we will discuss about five members uh, average five members of uh, for this family and we require one and a half kg of fresh vegetable daily so it is only possible uh, when there is a abundant use of pesticide and we are afraid of purchasing from market so only only uh, uh, solution for this uh, is to grow itself uh, ourselves uh, how to grow this this is called this is be only possible in kitchen gardening so kitchen gardening if, if we explain about kitchen gardening is the growing of vegetable crops in a limited space of residence to meet the daily requirement of our vegetables fruits of family all the year round it is one of the easiest way of ensuring access to healthy diet that contain adequate macro and micro nutrients by producing diverse kind of vegetables when we talk about the uh, this uh, this uh, uh this about the medicinal value or the nutrients present in the vegetable this there is a abundant number of uh, nutrients minerals are present in the vegetables if we call uh, if we uh, say about the carbohydrates proteins vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c calcium potassium phosphorus iron and minerals are available from these uh, uh, vegetables only so if we talk about the carbohydrates and availability in the vegetable which vegetables are suitable uh, to meet these requirements of carbohydrates we will see that potato sweet potato dry beans and sweet corn these meet this requirement about when we talk about the protein then peas french bean cowpeas cluster bean amaranthus these all cover this uh, protein and vitamin a carrot palak pumpkin methi coriander parsley green peas chili these all contain vitamin a in abundant quantity and peas and same phali contains vitamin b and when we talk about b then tomato sweet pepper green chili cauliflower nal kol bitter gourd leaves of radish brussels sprouts parsley methi palak cabbage these all are these are contain vitamin c a calcium is present in beetroot turnip leaves coriander ash gourd onion tomato same phali cauliflower carrot cabbage and peas and potassium is available in sweet potato bitter gourd radish onion green leafy vegetables and when we call about iron which is very important for our body then it comes to very vegetables like bitter gourd methi pudina palak pea cabbage broccoli same phali and tomato so when we see this all diverse uh, diverse uh, types of vegetables contain each and every nutrients which are very essential for our uh, body requirement so let's uh, we discuss uh, what are the uh, benefits for uh, from uh, for getting this uh, kitchen gardening fresh and fresh organic vegetables availability this uh, habit will cut our annual expenditure bills too which we have not accounted uh, many times but when we see uh, if we uh, like to record this all our expenditure we uh, spent on this vegetables 
these come to thousands of rupees uh, per year aesthetic and stress relieving relieving value this is the main benefit focus on household nutrition and medicinal security these uh, these uh, vegetables are which is source of vitamins minerals antioxidants and other agents which have uh, we discussed earlier a safe and nurturing nursing environment that reconnects children to nature and teach them how to grow their own food this is the uh, most important benefit for this uh, kitchen garden so when we uh, when we talk about the vegetables and uh, uh, these these have uh, these benefit they are they have many medicinal benefit, uh, properties in these vegetables if we talk about beans these they protect from uh, against cancer lower the cholesterol broccoli protect against cancer heart disease and stroke carrots are big source of antioxidants tomato protect against cancer and fight the infections onion and garlic protect us from certain cancers heart disease boost the immune system watermelon bitter gourd these are uh, very good for these uh, uh, they are having the properties of diabetes uh, uh, patients uh, blood purifier hypertension dietary and and when we talk about red अच्छा वो मैं देख रहा था कि क्या प्रॉब्लम आ गई पता नहीं लगा अच्छा again i i started my session i i am from science science bal college of management and information technology badani pathan court today in our uh, in our agriculture department we are hosting hosting a webinar on the topic of uh, grow grow your own food or you can say kitchen gardening kitchen gardening this is a topic this is described by today dr sukhdeep singh hundal assistant director horticulture department punjab i really thank to the sir to, for sparing the time to motivate uh, us and our students and uh, the other audience uh, that uh, out, from outside the outside the uh, agriculture section so i welcome dr uh, So, Deep Singh Mundal to deliver their valuable words regarding kitchen gardening. Sir, over to you. Good afternoon. It is my all the team members, students, and other dignitaries joining this interactive session of uh, Grow Your 
uh, safe food in kitchen garden so as introduced my uh, uh, sir introduced me i am uh, from department of horticulture punjab state and today we are discussing this topic for kitchen gardening for our self sustainable uh, growing of food so this is very important at this uh, junction when uh, vegetables are littered with the pesticides and fertilizers and we are afraid of uh, purchasing from market then the only solution uh, comes in mind is to grow them uh, yourself uh, by in your kitchen garden so in a brief kitchen gardening is growing of vegetable crops in a limited space of the residence to meet the daily requirements of vegetables of family all the year round it is one of the easiest way of ensuring access to healthy diet that contains adequate macro and micro nutrients by producing the worst kind of vegetables and herbs so when we uh, when we uh, when we our in mind when we we are uh, we, we are uh, going to start this uh, uh, our uh, kitchen garden we must know that we these vegetable and herbs are full of uh, these nutrients and like carbohydrates proteins vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c calcium potassium phosphorus iron and these are available from abundance of uh, these uh, vegetables and herbs if we start uh, counting a which vegetable is uh, for uh, for which uh, nutrient then we came to know potato sweet potato dry beans sweet corn dal abundant with carbohydrates these french bean coffees these cluster bean amaranthus are rich in protein and carrot palak pumpkin methi coriander parsley green peas chili green onion are rich in vitamin a and p e and c and folic are good source of vitamin b tomato sweet pepper green chili cauliflower nol col bitter gourd leaves of radish brussels sprouts parsley methi pollock cabbage these contains vitamin c in uh, much more quantity and calcium is present in beetroot leaves of turnip coriander ash curd onion tomato same cauliflower carrot cabbage and peas so and potassium is available in sweet potato potato bitter gourd radish same pali onion green leafy vegetables like iron is present in bitter gourd methi pudina pollock peas cabbage broccoli same pali and tomato so these are the uh, nutrition value which we get from these uh, different vegetables and herbs so uh, the our uh, national institute of nutrition hyderabad has also recommended 300 grams of fresh vegetables per day per person to keep in healthy so uh, when we talk about these uh, 300 grams and it is very uh, sorry to say that we are at level of 175 to 230 grams of vegetables in different areas of india so there is a big gap In 300 and this uh, is uh, about 100 to 125 grams of gap, which we are not meeting. We are not eating. Uh, so importance of kitchen gardens now become more, very much in this uh, regard, because a kitchen garden is a, a platform where we can get fresh vegetables and meet our daily requirements. So in this 300 grams of vegetable, when we talk about 300 grams, there is also division that 120 grams of green leafy vegetables are required, 90 grams of root vegetables are required, and 90 grams of other vegetables are required to meet our daily requirements. So on average, we can calculate our family requirement by uh, multiplying 300 grams. 
with number of uh, family members if we average we have five members then we need one and a half kg of fresh vegetables daily so this can only be possible uh, with this uh, with from this uh, uh, our kitchen garden only vegetable also act as a, a they have medicinal properties medicinal properties in them so they can cure help in curing many diseases these are not uh, vegetable can't be taken as medicines but, but this leads to uh, cure our diseases their medicinal properties like when we talk about beans these are uh, rich with flavonoids that benefits in protecting against cancer lower the cholesterol broccoli protects against cancer heart disease and strokes carrot have abundant antioxidants they act as antioxidants tobacco we also protect from cancer fight infection onion and garlic uh, protect against certain types of cancer heart disease boost the immune system and watermelon protect against the cancer bitter gourd uh, protect against diabetes blood purifier hypertension a radish is very helpful for liver infection piles and particularly for jaundice chili uh, is also very helpful uh, in curing many diseases so when we uh, talk about the uh, benefits for this kitchen garden we are always we are most these these are big source for providing us fresh organic vegetables cutting our annual expenditure bills which I, we have not counted many times if we start counting our daily requirement according to our daily requirement the expenditure goes to thousand of rupees aesthetic and stress relieving value that is uh, costless focus on household nutrition and medicine security sources of rich vitamins minerals antioxidants and other medicinal properties which we have uh, discussed earlier and kitchen garden is a safe and nourishing environment that reconnects children to nature and teach them how to grow their own food this is very important and uh, very helpful uh, for adopting this uh, our uh, have this uh, this noble cause so while uh, growing the kitchen garden or planning the kitchen garden we have to uh, keep some points in the mind before growing vegetables and herbs uh, we must uh, uh, know the plan according to the land available around us so when we talk about the uh, site or some plan i think there is no plan uh, there is no such a particular plan that can be applicable for everybody because everybody have their own resources own uh, complications uh, kitchen garden site can be can't be defined it can be uh, our backyard it can be on our tubal it can be in our vacant uh, plot near our house uh, for uh, uh, city dwellers it can be their uh, rooftop and for flat owners it can be their balconies so we can't uh, uh, design a particular design, particular area we can't fix a particular area for kitchen garden this depends upon the resources you have and we have to plan plan accordingly so when we uh, plan there are certain points we can discuss uh, step by step first of them is the site site the site should be such that it uh, it could be convenient for everybody to look after uh, by ourselves and our family member so this be nearby to our house the location of vegetable nutrition and herbal garden can be backyard of house or near the water source this should be very important and one important thing uh, that about site is 
they that must have six hour proper sunlight so without sunlight it is not possible to grow uh, anything uh, for food so in cities it may be terrace as as we have discussed earlier and people living in flats they may use their balconies to keep the containers for this purpose more suitable si site is east side is more suitable for growing our uh, niche natural food so anything which we can want to grow the east west side is best because maximum sunlight is available in this side so when we talk about the soil soil which are rich in nutrient having good moisture holding capacity and aeration is considered good for kitchen gardens it should have ph around 7 and free from soil pollutants sand and one part of well decomposed farmyard manure desi uh, rudi what we call in punjab so this mixture is best for our uh, uh, for growing anything so leaf mold or vermin compost these can also be uh, added in this uh, soil so before planning we have to solarize our soil in this uh, this uh, may june month which is abundant when there is abundant uh, heat available so we must uh, uh, solarize soil solarization be done in may june must be done before sowing of vegetable every 6 months so this also uh, uh, this also help in uh, improving our soil health so when we go to uh, after preparing the soil if our soil is not available like this so we have to prepare this as we discussed so there are after that method of sowing and transplanting there are some seeds which are directly sown in soil and they become a plant but some very small seeds which have very small seed we can't hold in our uh, uh, finger uh, uh, our fingers that are uh, seedlings are sown for that so seeds of some vegetable like tomato chili cauliflower cabbage broccoli brinjal onion these are very small so these are so these are can't be so uh, sown directly in the field but first seedlings are grown in a bed separate bed raised bed area then they are transplanted on the in the yeah, our main beds or ridges this is the best method for small uh, seeds for growing seedling when we have to we have to prepare 1 meter uh, wide and 1.5 cm 15 cm raised bed prepared near the water source so draw the lines on that and pour the seed and cover the seed with uh, that soil so before uh, when we sow the seeds in lines and cover them with thin layer of well rotten farmyard manure after sowing irrigate the bed with the uh, sprinkler sprinkling water on that with can don't sow the small seeds very deep uh, on average seed should be sown double deep the size of the seed so this is the main point that uh, we should kept keep in mind that seed should be sown on double uh, depth uh, which uh, ever it, it uh, have the seed. so this when the seedling become 4 to 6 week uh, old or attain 5 inch height uproot them healthy most preferably in the evening and transplant on the these are our uh, uh, bed so after transplanting immediately uh, irrigate the bed with a little water so after uh, transplanting or sowing seed irrigation is one of the most important thing in this uh, kitchen garden so kitchen garden as we discussed should be near our uh, uh, house and water source kitchen 
waste water should also be used but uh, uh, the water mixed with uh, washing soda or any detergent which we use uh, on for our cloth cloth washing or utensil uh, cleaning that should not be mixed in this uh, water so that should be separate this should be not used in uh, kitchen garden so irrigation is very important to get quality production light and iri light irrigation is required or pre request every single drop of water used with precision as per need becomes weapon against disease and pest over irrigation also invites many diseases and pests so this should be discouraged and proper uh, uh, proper irrigation should be applied to uh, where where we where our irrigation source comes there uh, we can place one uh, piece of 20 grams of piece of hing which we used in uh, these uh, our uh, masalas so this can be uh, kept in this uh, muslin cloth and uh, uh, kept near the water source that uh, helps in controlling termite which is which is big problem in our uh, this kitchen garden so this must be kept in mind fertilization is also important uh, when we plan our uh, uh, kitchen garden we want organically so no chemical fertilizer should be used on only organic farmyard manure or vermi compost should be used after 6 months we have to add one quintal of uh, farmyard manure well rotten farmyard manure uh, only one uh, well rotten farmyard manure should be used not uh, that uh, that is not properly uh, prepared that farmyard manure manure uh, this cow dung should not be fresh cow dung should not be used in this as this invites uh, these uh, termites so well far uh, rotten farmyard manure 100 kg per 20 uh, 25 square meter area should be used or 20 kg of well uh, this uh, vermi compost should be used miss for 6 uh, months before uh, planting or before planting our summer or winter vegetables there are two seasons that we discuss later on so fertilization is must this should be given uh, proper to nourish our kitchen garden insect attacks and disease weed management this is also very important if we ignore this aspect then we will not get any return from this uh, our hard work so we suggested crop kind will attract minimal disease insect pest attack if the said precaution with respect of precision irrigation and balanced nutrition are taken care of but if insect pests appear check them manually remove the damaged plant part bury them in the soil sucking pest can be washed off with the running water with water sprays non chemical strategy like bio based formulation microbial control and biological control uh, these uh, uh, these techniques should be used uh, some of them we will discuss here so that we can keep our uh, this uh, kitchen garden free from these diseases so we should not use pesticide chemical uh, pesticides in this and only organic way should be uh, be our main uh, main stress to control these uh, diseases and pests so as discussed balanced nutrition judicious use of water is helpful key point kept in mind this is balanced nutrition and uh, judicious use of water these are uh, helpful in controlling insect pests kill the insect with hand while monitoring this small area 
that can also be used in this uh, limited area to protect them from insects vectors yellow sticky sticky traps these are very helpful uh, you can make simply by uh, like uh, any piece of uh, this tin uh, box one piece you can take and paint it with yellow paint and uh, place grease or some sticky material on that so that uh, these white fly traps and other sucking pests insect pests can stuck on that uh, stick on that and after some days we can remove that and again apply the greasy make it a greasy uh, surface so that uh, so that our crop can be saved from these uh, white fly traps and other sucking insects so some uh, we can also uh, spray uh, one liter of cow urine plus one liter milk mixed in 15 liter of water will act as antivirus and control mosaic virus also in some vegetables so khati lassi that is sour lassi is also very good uh, for controlling fungal diseases so spray four days old three liters that uh, sour lassi in uh, kept in copper uh, vessel so spray on that plants and uh, this is act as a anti fungal uh, to control various insect pests a uh, one mixture of garlic onion and ginger sorry uh, garlic ginger and chili mixture in this you can crush 2 kg of garlic 1 kg ginger 1 kg green chili in 14 liter of water and filter that water and spray so that very sensitive pests can be controlled like from this uh, with this uh, method a uh, red pumpkin beetle is very harmful insect in uh, summer vegetables especially in cooker beets to control this so we can use 1 kg of cow dung ash mixed with 20 ml of kerosene oil and spread it in early in the morning on the moist leaves so uh, that red pumpkin beetle can be controlled by uh, doing this so cow dung cake water is very good uh, uh, growth promoter uh, any we are facing when we are facing problems in any type of fruits and vegetables that they are not fruiting very well so we can spray with it cow dung water it is very effective growth promoter put one year old three cow dung cake in 10 liter of water and place them for a week in shade then uh, put out the uh, cow dung from that uh, without disturbing the uh, solution uh, keep uh, keep them out and uh, filter the water and spray on the plants that will be give you miracle results you will see uh, with your eyes that uh, the plants will flourish very much fruiting will be very good as it act as a growth promoter because the this act for as a gibralic acid for plants so 20 g of piece of hing as i already discussed in irrigation that should be kept uh, near the water source that will help in uh, help in controlling termites in our that particular area uh, this hing uh, water if we place this uh, piece of hang in water and then dip our seedling before sowing in the field that this will also help in uh, controlling many diseases so neem is one of the uh, very 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 important plant neem that should be planted in our kitchen garden also or ever on the road side so each and every part of neem is helpful in controlling helpful uh, bio as they act as a bio control many insects are uh, sucking insects are controlled by spraying neem products so neem extract neem kernel powder neem seed kernels extract 
is also helpful in controlling several insects. Take one kg neem leaves along with 20 liter of water, boil them, and uh, after cooling the extract, add 200 grams of good jaggery in that, and then we, uh, then we spray in the plants. So these are some uh, techniques which should be kept in mind before uh, for controlling insect pests and diseases and keep our crop uh, healthy and disease free. So while planning, while planting, these, our family members must take part in this. Uh, their choice should be kept in mind what type of vegetables they like, they should be uh, they should be incorporated in our plan. So exotic vegetables or leafy vegetables which are needed in kitchen uh, uh, in small quantity, that should be uh, also uh, planned in our our this uh, kitchen garden. So. When we talk about the crops for the kitchen garden, the crops taken in kitchen garden depend mainly on two factors, size of garden and choice of the family that we discussed. The most important foundation after start small is the start with what you like to eat. Only those vegetables should be taken which are suited to region and produce satisfactory yield. If space is limited, only those vegetables can be grown which give better yield per plant per unit, like tomato, capsicum, chili, brinjal. These, uh, flour, these gives many uh, fruits on one plant. So these should be, uh, especially for these uh, flat owners in balconies, these vegetables should be preferred. The cultivators should be selected according to the suitability of the region and according to period of sowing. Tomato, beans, cabbage, lettuce, Pollock, beetroot, and root crops and exotic vegetables are desirable for small gardens. So, one point which we uh, must keep in mind while planning, while uh, sowing, one is season, and then in season, we should uh, make some uh, uh, sow in different uh, uh, intervals so that long, uh, long availability should be available for. Uh, our vegetables and herbs. So there are some designs uh, which we discuss. Uh, I will ask uh, Mr. Bharat to show the plan as, uh, can we show the plan on this uh, that I sent you? Yes, kind of shows that we discuss. So kitchen gardens, is, as we uh, already discussed, this is not uh, recommended uh, what type of, uh, but this is the idea. This is the this is idea that we can reduce, we can increase the size according to need. So this is one plan uh, we have uh, made with help of Yabi Agriculture University and Department of Horticulture joining. This is only 75 square meter, that is three marla land herbal and uh, nutrition vegetable garden we have planned. So please show like this. This is the this first one. This is the plan. Is that shown to all? Garuji, uh, are we showing this on our screen? Okay, May I, I will read. Okay, there as you are watching everybody. Uh, okay, this is 75 square meter nutrition herbal garden layout plan. You can uh, increase or decrease according to your need, according to land available with you, according to plot available with you. So th these are uh, all rectangles which are being uh, seen in your diagram. These are uh, 2 meter into 2.75 meter, 2 meter uh, width and 2.7 meter length. This is, and we have planned this in the first box. You will see bottle guard June to December. Now it's a very right time to uh, sow the uh, bottle guard in this uh, area. And then, 
uh, after the summer, we uh, after when the crop will be over, then we can sow their onion, their onion, January to May. So this is the complete crop rotation for this uh, uh, this particular area, two meter into two point seven five meter. In next uh, bed, we can sow garlic, lettuce, radish accordingly. Here uh, in second side. We can so brinjal and cauliflower. This is complete round the year plan. So in center it is water channel. I will not discuss all this. It will be available with you uh, we, if there is a group. I have shared this. Eight, I have written this uh, eight page booklet. So this is a very complete uh, booklet on this kitchen gardening. Uh, I think this will meet all of your requirements. So uh, these are all one. Uh, these are ten, uh, ten small, uh, uh, small areas, and then two areas for herbs. And herbs are when we are facing COVID, then herbs are also very important in this uh, scenario. So I have planned this pathar chart: gallo, curry patta, brahmi, turmeric, aloe vera, wheat grass, mint, tulsi. Ashwagandha. In all this last, uh, these uh, uh, two beds are uh, reserved for these herbs, so that the herbs requirement can also be taken. So, in overall, there are twenty-two uh, vegetables around the year we can grow and get a get our plate uh, daily filled with rich source of vegetables. You see in the next gallery. This this one year round availability of vegetables. This type of chart. Uh, is it? Are you trying? Please change to this. So this this chart shows which vegetable is soon when, and these are the months when there will be availability. So this is very helpful. In getting this, uh, this we can see, and the year round we can uh, there will be new vegetable in our plate daily if we uh, so according to the this plan and availability will be like this. So I can't, uh, I will not discuss each and every there. Uh, this will be available in your group. I I will request uh, authorities to circulate whatever group you have. So that what we are talking here uh, can't be remembered. This uh, this will be helpful in getting you uh, whenever you need. You will get from here. Okay. So this is the uh, in, in this booklet we have given the package practices for each and uh, this. These are summer vegetables. There are uh, 13 summer vegetables and 18 winter vegetables. This package, practice, full package of practices given. These charts are also available in this booklet. So, which vegetable can we sow? What is, what is the method of sowing? What seed rate is required for 25 square meter? That's the one month. What will be distance between rows and uh, plant to plant? So, this is uh, this will be given. Separately, I will send you everybody soft copy for this. Uh, or otherwise, I request the authorities to circulate this uh, for their kind reference. So this is for summer vegetables. This is for winter vegetables. So now it is summer. Let us we discuss what can be done now. These days are uh, in this June month. We can plan bottle guard plant bottle guard again. And then we can plant sponge guard, bitter guard, squash melons, okra, pindi that can be sown. Cowpeas can be sown this month. So these are some four or five vegetables which can be sown now again. These we have sown in February, March, and now again we can sow this uh, in these months also. So to keep our uh, our diet rich. We can sow these plants, uh, these vegetables again. And about herbs, aloe vera, 
मेंथा तुलसी अश्वगंधा पत्थर चट सरी पत्ता ब्रह्मी हल्दी गिलो गिलो इज वेरी गुड फॉर मेडिसिनल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड दिस वन प्लांट वी आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग नाउ इन द रिवाइज एडिशन दैट इज ड्रम स्टिक सुहांजना दिट इज मेरेकल प्लांट रिच ऑफ प्रोटीन मोर देन मिल्क द लीव्स कंटेन मोर देन मिल्क प्रोटीन सो सुहांजना और ड्रम स्टिक यू कैन प्लांट this is best time now can dot seeds are available uh, in the own plants these can be sown very easily this can grown in our backyard or whatever space we have available with us so one thing i want to discuss for city dwellers or persons having less area uh, but want fresh fresh vegetables Uh, they also need fresh vegetables for their diet so proof of container gardening one chapter for this has been included in this uh, my write up so this is for those persons having limited space for this they can use containers like these containers uh, we can use these containers these are uh, turpentine uh, made containers very uh, last for 3 to 4 years uh, life is 3 to 4 years and our uh, 75 if we individual container is 70 to 100 uh, rupees and this uh, big ones you can uh, plan according to your need these are of 6 uh, inch height 8 inch height 12 inch and 1 uh, and 1/2 feet height and uh, length is uh, 10 feet 12 feet whatever you need width is 5 to 6 feet so whatever your need is that can be uh, these are available in market you can bet and plan according to them so in uh, in this rooftop gardening one point must be taken in mind that we uh, uh, that a uh, uh, root system of plant should be kept in mind the container uh, container can be chosen according to the uh, root system so i have divided this uh, all things into uh, shallow rooting medium rooting and deep rooting so shallow rooting is uh, 12 to 16 inch and be suitable vegetable for this are broccoli cauliflower cabbage lettuce onion potato radish spinach mint and kale medium rooting that is 16 to 24 inch that is uh, about 2 uh, feet deep beans beets carrot cucumber brinjal capsicum peas turnip summer squash these vegetable come in the medium rooting and deep rooting uh, crops are winter squash sweet potatoes tomato watermelon and for this 2 to 3 uh, feet deep uh, container size should be uh, taken container should not be like this uh, a very uh, if you don't want these you can use the uh, used drums uh, cut them horizontally and make them two and then plant these uh, these uh, vegetables in that uh, drums also and you can even plant uh, fruit plants by cutting them uh, in two two uh, sections and then use it uh, for fruit plants also so selection of container is very important and uh, same mixture that we have prepared uh, soil mixture that we have prepared for uh, our uh, uh, beds this should be used in this containers so this uh, this can be also done uh, while uh, preparing this our all the things so when we uh, when we are growing these uh, uh, cooked beets or mine vegetables so we have to plan uh, we have to trellis them on the uh, on system on uh, on poles and wires that can be trellis can be used so that there must be uh, aeration and uh, they can, more crop can be taken so department of horticulture uh, 
have done something uh, in promoting this kitchen gardening uh, as a state noodle officer uh, one thing why i have written this uh, write up of eight pages this is both in english and punjabi uh, this is available from our offices in different uh, or in our office of horticulture in different uh, districts so one other thing we are doing that is uh, we prepare vegetable seed kits uh, sorry to uh, uh, i don't have this kit to show you the, but very cheap kit this is suitable for uh, 200 square meter to 250 square meter area and it is 70 80 rupees it costs and it contains 10 type of seeds in that and that is in summer we also prepare in uh, winter we also prepare in summer in month of march it uh, mid march it is available from our district offices for this winter season it is available on 15th of september in our offices so you can get and in one packet you can get 10 type of vegetables small uh, packets in one packet and we are giving the package of prices also okay how to grow which i have shown in this uh, like this uh, what uh, what distance is there what type of uh, vegetable is inside that packet that uh, package of is also printed and uh, put in that packet so these all things are we are doing uh, these are all i i advise all you to uh, take uh, is as a hobby and you will see uh, what are the results what are the miracles in your life what are the uh, what you uh, feel proud of growing uh, in punjabi we say apni hathi paida kiti sab cheez da phal da swaad hi vakhra hunda so that feeling you can get from growing the, your own food and being self sustainable then god has given us each and everything each and uh, we are very lucky uh, india has diverse climate diverse uh, uh, agro climatic conditions that we can in our this soil uh, accept salt we can grow everything so why not uh, we come forward and uh, do this uh, by ourselves and then we then when we get the results for this uh, this will be when we calculate i have also calculated that what what a financial be, uh, benefit we get by growing these vegetables or herbs in our kitchen garden as we need uh, this uh, 300 grams according to that land 300 grams of uh, vegetable per day per person so we can save minimum of of a five uh, five family members uh, uh, of a family of five fam family members we can save 50 to 60000 per year so this is only saving on the uh, on purchasing of vegetables and what we give to doctors that uh, that can be calculated so let's come forward and grow your own safe food yourself thank you very much Gorgi Rampal phone uh a new sir. Rampal sir. Okay. I yes. Can I? Thanks a lot, sir, for such a delightful session. It was very informative. 
and important as per today's day-to-day -to -day requirement. Also, uh, also it is also useful as uh, today's uh, sir, sir told us everybody needs 300 grams uh, vegetable per day. So it is hard to buy from market and it is too costly. So it is, uh, if it is uh, adopted as a hobby by us, it will cut down the uh, cost of the budget of the family and uh, we will save some money also. And also I sincere thanks uh, to our uh, today's speaker, uh, Dr. Subdeep Singh Gurdalji, uh, Director, Horticulture Department, for, for giving us, uh, sir, providing us such an information. We will also contact you, sir, for your uh, book and uh, the seed packets that have you uh, designed the seed kits. We also collect these both seed kits and distribute uh, between our faculty members and our between our students also. We also thanks to. Uh, Dr. Rampalji, who contacted you with this regard to provide information to our students and our uh, our faculty members and other participants. And uh, yeah, once again, my sincere thanks from the Sri Sai Group of Institute, Badani Pathan Court, to you, sir, for, uh, for this wonderful session. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, Goroji. Hello, Goroji.